Welcome back guys, Discount Tools here. We have a little tool unboxing. I recently, well not too long ago, but I got the hook and pick set from Milwaukee, a four piece, uh, with the ply, uh, not plier, pry bar. It was on actually a, a deal of the day. It was, you buy the pry bar set, which is usually 80 bucks for 50, I believe, around that price, and you got the hook and pick set for free. Figured we'd do an unboxing. I am doing my rear differentials change, and I gotta get rid of all the uh, gunk out from the old seal. So I figured we use this and we'll take a look at it. Here we go. And oh, by the way, this is number 48-22-9215, and you get a straight pick, a hook pick. A 90 degree pick and an offset pick. And also you can see what you have. That's what I got. And all you have to do is for a replacement because they're a lifetime guarantee, no questions asked. Call 1-800-SARDUST or email them at mechanical mechanics hand tools at milwaukeetool.com. Product description, photo of the product, name and shipping address. And seems like that's all you have, need. So all right, let me just see here. All right. And these are steel core, so steel core. I'm not sure if I said that wrong, but they run it right through the uh, handle here, as you can see. They're not some cheap Harbor Freight uh, picks. I know somebody's going to say, why did you spend $50 on a pick set and a pry bar set? But I think it's well worth the money. Um, these pick sets are usually, I think, like $20 normally, normally. So, you know, I think that offsets the price by getting the pry bar set as well. Uh, come on, come on, come on. So, what's nice about this, too, is that you get a... Uh, even though it's plastic, it's a little flimsy. I already dented it up here. It's a little hole. But still, it's nice that they included a case for the price you're paying. As you can see, you have some knurling up here. So you can, if you need to really get in there with two hands, you can twist that in. Nice little plastic uh, handles. Very lightweight. I'll say that, and they're pretty long. Um, I don't have anything to gauge that by, but let's see here. Gauge it by the uh, so just almost like three quarters of the way for a of these Fat Max aviation snips. So this is the hook pick. Nope, oh, I'm putting it in wrong. Here's the 90 degree. Very nice, nicely made. And this is the 90 degree, so you can get it in there. Some of this stuff you can use for like golf fans and stuff on your car today. I'm gonna demonstrate this because as you can see, there's some gunk from the rubber seals in here. So we're gonna use some of these picks, pick out some of this stuff. Let's try. It's a ninety degree. As you can see, it will take out the rubber gasket in it from the seals. See if we can get a up close view. Very sharp too. And you gotta get all this out. It's very tedious work. This is why uh, real di rear diffs are a little expensive. But it's kind of cheap to do. But and you have to get everything out because if you don't pay, you end up paying in the long run because then you're gonna be doing our new differential 
in the back. Okay, so we did the straight, the curt, the 90 degree, and now let's do the hook. Hook is the best one so far for this uh, application. Let's see if we have a camera. Yeah. Because it's a little easier just to come and kind of curve it out. The, uh, the rubber gasket maker that they use at the factory. Alright. Take, we'll take some of that out with the wire brush. Let's try the offset. Try it up here. Oh, I'm my bad. I'm looking off camera. Once you get it out, you can kind of peel it up. It's doing pretty good. I really like them. Um, I'll do a little, see what I can do with a little more before I do a final review. I'll be right back with that. But we'll do a little more with these before I do that and see how it works out. But so far, they're working out great. All right, I'll be back with my final review. All right, guys, we're also going to take this cap off with the Milwaukee pick set. See if it will take it off. Use the, see if I can get the offset in there. Just work it in. And bam. We got access to the uh, wheel nut that we'll be doing later on. Let me try the other side real quick. Okay guys, so today we're just gonna do a quick O-ring change on the power steering uh couple right here. Actually the reservoir. Sorry about that. As you can see, picks work great. Um, you get some sludge out and everything like that. A little rag for that. Use a Q-tip and get that out later on. But we're going to change out these two O-rings. And I got these O-rings from Harbor Freight. Um, open these up right now. They were like $8 after the 20% of the coupon. That's the reason why I kind of like their... Everything's just about 20% off. Um, I think I've done some other videos with this. Just want to do another one before I post it. So, uh, how do we open this? That would, uh... Oh, there we go. So you have all your O-rings in here. With different dimensions and everything like that. Very well planned out. Kind of really like this so far. And these are automotive grade. As you can see, this is item 67644 at Harbor Freight. And these are the Milwaukee's picks. So we're going to use 90 degree. All you do is you take the pick. You don't stab the... Uh, the uh the gasket you just have want to work it into the seam and then right like that kind of tear it right off well not tear it but work it off and you want to anytime you see a gasket you it's kind of what you do sorry about this guys it's just hands a little and just degrease this whole thing all right so that just flew somewhere and again 
Same thing with this one back here. Just want to work it off. And there you go. These picks are great. Um, just a quick, again, another review on it. Um, they're probably the best picks I've ever used, um, honestly. Uh, they're worth the money. I think they're $16.99 or $17 bucks from Milwaukee. They come with a tray. Um, I got this as like a, I think I spent like 50 bucks or something like that on this. Um, and they've been invaluable to me over doing all my, uh, my work with, uh, with, uh, my car, my truck and everything like that. So, we back and we'll just, I'll just put the uh, new ones on real quick. All right, guys, for my final thoughts on the Milwaukee pick set, I really like it. Um, you just got to remember they're not insulated, so you have to be careful with these uh, with these pick sets. They do run all the way to the back. You do get this little case. I mean, you know, it's a little fl flimsy. There's a little hole here, as you can see. They will break down. But overall, I like this pick set. If you're looking for a quality pick set now I'm not saying go out and buy this you can go get I think a pick set at Harbor Freight for two dollars and these are 16 you, you know you can buy as many of those pick sets as, as you want I'm just saying that if you want a quality pick set where you actually have some knurling here if it focuses oh, come on there you go some knurling here so you can have a place to grip with your fingers they are I think I believe a little longer than the stuff you'll find at Harbor Freight but for an overall like mechanics purpose I do believe these are a really good set for the money um, I'm glad I got these and was able to try these out um, so, you know, let me know. Did you get these before? Have you tried these out? Or, you know, are they just out of your price range? You know, some people will say that. I understand that. But sometimes it's better to spend a little more money on a quality pick set or a quality tool set than it is to buy go buy uh, some cheap chinese brands. So, of course, my camera is off-center, so I keep on going back and forth. So, leave it in the comments down below if you, you know, if you, what do you think about these pick sets? Have you tried them? Or, you know, maybe you have another brand that you like more. Let me know. Um, just check around up around here. You're going to see some, you know, if you want to subscribe, hit the subscribe button. And check out my other videos around here somewhere. But don't forget, leave a comment down below. I like the ongoing narrative that we have talking about these tools. Something that everybody on YouTube in these uh, these videos loves to do. So please, let's have that ongoing narrative. Let me know what you think. And as always, keep on trucking, guys. I'll see you on the next one.